Welcome back. My name is Jason Levine here with Mr. Terry White. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> and uh, today we are here to talk more generative AI tips and tricks in the newly released version of Photoshop Beta 24.6. We just saw some amazing stuff, Terry. Thank you. Blowing minds. I wish I could take credit, but it's, coast it's to coast. just generative film. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be doing even more of this. Again, this Photoshop beta is accessible to anyone who has Photoshop already on their machine. You can install it. There's also a regular release version of Photoshop, which we just showed earlier. We covered so that. So you can catch that you can stream if you're get that replay. looking to binge more. A couple of quick shout outs here for everyone tuning in. We've got Andrew and Fernando and Lola and Wade and Shiva and Pietro and Art of Visual and Shaw and Oscar and Manuel. Thank you so much for joining. Another hour of the two of us together. And man, it's so good to see you. I, it is good as to I see put you my hands person. upon I you, know, Terry. Right? We when haven't was been the last together. Time we were this close. I mean, it's it's been a while. Just the two of us. <laughs> Just the two of us. Uh, it's been a while, so it's really the nice to be. The road tours, the That's world right. tours, the on stage in every country you can think of. And now we've been, we've been doing it for years. We've been doing it for years, and now we get to reach just as many. Right. Just like this in a cold studio with Paco, who you can't see, but we couldn't do it without him. So thank you, Paco. Absolutely. Um, all right, so we're going to talk more about generative fill in Photoshop. We just yes, saw a couple of crazy examples. I've actually got some. I got more crazy examples. More crazy stuff. And we're going to do some stuff a little bit outside of the box. I know I think you've got some of your sort of fashion style oh, examples yeah. Yeah, yeah. and do doing that. crazy things like changing clothing and all kinds of cool stuff. I'm going to show some generative ones. Again, dipping into the archives of, and fixing some old photos. And I, that, that's the thing. It's just like what this made me do is go back and look at my Lightroom catalog. Right. Oh, yeah, that photo I, I didn't like because of this reason. Right. I can now quickly fix it instead right. of spending hours, which wasn't worth it. Going back and like fixing landscapes and adding um, things to portraits, removing things from portraits, just so much easier now. Yeah. All right. Well, let's hit it, man. People want to see it. All right. So just a reminder, just quickly, for those of you who are didn't watch the last stream, just quickly... If you want to get the beta, because you can go in and update. So when you go to updates and you check for updates, that's going to update your regular Photoshop. But notice I've got the Photoshop beta installed. And where you get that from is you manually have to do it. So it will not do it automatically. Right. You have to proactively go install it. So you go to the beta, beta app section of your Creative Cloud desktop app. And you uh, click there, and you will see Photoshop Beta. And right now, it's, it's telling me, so it'll prompt you if it's not already doing that. But you'll see it in the list. Install it. You don't have to uninstall your regular version. And then you can open up the Beta and do what we're doing. Now, some people are saying, I open the Beta, and I don't see the feature or whatever. Quit the Beta and relaunch it. Because sometimes it needs, a, it, it needs a launch to get the Beta open, but then it needs a relaunch to activate the Beta features. So if you're not seeing the features, just simply quit, relaunch. Worst case, uninstall the beta, reboot, reinstall the beta. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So we've been doing generative fill for the past half hour. I showed you the first few examples. I've got tons of examples to show. Jason's got some examples, so we're going to just dive right in. I took this shot in... I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was in LA, some pond. And, and I, I like these kind of lily pads and things, but you know, you always expect to see a frog at some point, but you can't wait for a frog all the time. So let's put one in. Let's do, let's do a rectangular marquee selection. And you have to make a selection to do generative fill. Even if you select a blank canvas, you have to do a selection to do generative fill. So if you don't see the generative fill button on your taskbar, it's probably because you don't have a selection yet. And also the other way to check it, if you're not using the taskbar, is to go up to Edit and choose Generative Fill from the Edit menu. All right, so now that we've got this, um, this rectangular marquee selection, I'm going to hit Generative Fill. And I'm just going to type in Frog. We'll keep it simple. Now, someone was just asking, Terry, we're, we're using the marquee a lot, but mm -hmm. you can use other selection tools. Oh, yeah, tools. I use the last, remember, yeah, I use the yeah. lasso to remove people. You can mm -hmm. use whatever selection yeah. tool you want. For generation and for right. removal. Yep, yeah. So just to be really clear about that, it doesn't have to be rectangular, square. It doesn't have to yeah, be. Yeah. There's frog. <laughs> There's frog facing the right way. Yeah, right. Because I would want composition. That's way right. To be to looking at the way. flower. All right, to be looking at the flower. There's another frog. I, I don't know what your frog taste is these days. Right. But, I mean, <laughs> but yes. This would be my choice. I'm partial to frog number two. Right, frog number two. And if you didn't like frog number one, two, or three, you can hit generate again. Generate some more. 
and generate again and generate again. You keep generating more frogs until you get to the one you like. Now, I want to try something with this one. Yeah. Uh, we'll let this finish. Yeah. That's going to give us three new ones. So, new one number one. Oh, I like actually. That's, see, yeah. sometimes regenerating gives you that even a better even nicer, choice. Yeah. I like that one nicer. And yeah, so I'd stick with that one. It's actually doing something a little more interesting with the shadows and the right. light, too. Yeah. I thought, well, what would happen if I did it in the water? Mm. Oh, and, and to your point, let's go grab the lasso. Yeah. So it does not have to be a rectangular marquee selection. You can do a lasso. To me, it's just harder. <laughs> yeah. Because well, yeah. I don't have my mouse. That's right, yes. I don't have a pen either. Uh, and we'll do gender fill, and we'll do frog. Uh, frog spell correctly. It is English, and you do have to spell it correctly. These moments. I know. And you know what's so funny? As fast as this is now. It's like, oh my uh, God, I gotta wait. Get it done already. Hurry up. Uh, yes, I know. But that's the thing, is it really is so, so fast by comparison. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's like this one's trying to go in the pad or in the water. That one's coming up at the angle I want it, but it doesn't look like it's in the water enough. And I could change my prompt. I'm gonna say frog coming out of the water. There we go. Let's try that. So if your it could be your prompt, it could also be your selection. If you're not getting the results you want, switch it up. Creepy face. Creepy, I agree. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not a fan of frogs. They're all right. Yeah, see, there we go. That's what I was oh, thinking yeah. about, coming out of the water. Ooh, that that's is cool. interesting. That looks like a slightly unalive frog. Right, but... yeah. <laughs> that is just a bad result. So bad result, poor result, and delete. I'm never going to use that. And since, we, since you're doing that anew now, we want to point out, much like in Adobe Firefly on the web, you have the option here to sort of rate good result, right. bad good result. Good result, bad result, and that helps improve the AI. So the more you tell it what it's doing right and what it's doing wrong, the better it will get Yeah, for all of us. Yep. Super important to do that. It's kind of one of those things you're- There we you're, go. You're, you're less, ten oh, that's great. Look at that. There we go. This is kind of- That's the, even better. The, the kind of <laughs> that's the best one. This is the kind of results I was looking for. So coming out of the water with the shadow, everything in place. And again, if I take, because sometimes the result's so good, you don't think to give it a thumbs up. You can give it a thumbs up right here on the, on the contextual taskbar as well. And if you want to give it more detail, like if you want to explain why it's good or why it's bad so they have the context, when you do um, either one, whether you do it from the menu or the, um, or the contextual taskbar, you'll get the option to tell us more. So that's where you can go in right. and be very detailed about what it got right or what it got wrong. And you can even put in your own text. Oh my God, the shadows were off. Or right. it was great, it was amazing. Whatever it is, you can, and notice how there's no in between. Yeah, right, yeah, that's you're, right. You're yeah. reporting it being great or reporting it being horrible. That's right. There is, there. well, that's it. There yeah. really kind of is yeah, no you're in really, between. You're not just saying, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, and that's kind of the benefit of being able to regenerate too is to see how, how quickly it gets there. Right. You know? Now, this was an interesting perspective shot, and I wanted to see what it would do if I didn't make the selection in perspective. So back to the rectangle tool. I'm just going to make a rectangular selection right about here. Or let's say here. And I'm going to type in my prompt, school bus. And as we were saying before, this one, it's interesting, right? Because again, perspective, how it's shot, direction, how it's going to place this thing. It's a nice shot of the street, by the way. Sort of Abbey Road-ish, minus not being in the UK. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> also a great way to probably remove people from Abbey Road if you've taken that shot, as we were talking about earlier. I have a couple of those I need and, to revisit. Look at, look at oh that. my God, zoom in. Dude, you gotta zoom in. Look at that. A bus with with some weird reflections, but and some text that is just right. You know, whatever. But the, but the shadows, shadows on the ground, everything else, the perspective, the perspective. of the bus, the again, fall off of of the that's perspective. just the first choice. Oh, look at that! There's second choice, third choice. Oh, that's 
That's crazy. And again, it's it's assuming that there are buildings behind you in the reflection that it's reflecting into the windshield. Right. This is this is just mind-boggling what this stuff does. Now, keep in mind, it is a layer. It's got its own mask. So if I wanted to keep that one road stripe, right. like going down the middle, I would just paint the you mask. Just paint it back in. Yep. To paint it back in, so I keep that stripe. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Max Chrome is asking, can you select things and have it change what's already there, like colors and other stuff about the picture or subjects? Sure. Um, let's do, let's make a selection of this building. And let's say we want this to be, um, Jason, what do you want that building to be? Well, it's a high rise. Maybe make it a. I don't know. What do you call it? Low rise? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I to... like trying to think of. Okay, look, you know what? Let's, let's, Spacey just, restaurant? I I'm don't just know. curious to what it would do. Let's try a schoolhouse. Yeah, schoolhouse. That's good. I, I have no idea. I've never tried this until you suggested it in your prompt. So, but, I mean, your, um, yeah. in your question. By the way, while, while it's generating, and I have a question for the chat. Just to put a bus into this shot with the shadows, into that perspective, in this way. People who do this kind of composite work, I'm just curious in the chat, tell us, how long would that take you in the traditional way? First, you gotta find a bus. Right, right. That, well, that's part of it. Yeah, that's that's part, part of the time. You find a bus so, that's in the right perspective. And be honest, you know? All right, it gave me one version of, again, I don't know, what, yeah, it's like it doesn't know what a tall schoolhouse looks like. That's an interesting, uh -oh. that looks like a terrifying yeah, schoolhouse, yeah, actually. I wouldn't want to go to school there. <laughs> <laughs> that one's okay. Right. That, that one, one looks like a modern school Yes, school that, that building. sort of fits. But yes, you can um, select areas and tell it to replace. So, for example, if I go, oh, here's, here's a better example. So let's say I go here. I was gonna say, yeah, could you replace that with maybe palm, palm trees? trees? Yep, that's what I was thinking. Oh, all right. Great minds right. think alike. Palm yeah. trees. Generator fill, and let's replace this with palm trees. But Rob is saying 15 minutes. S is saying <coughs> 10 minutes. Okay, it's very honest. I like that. After you found the bus. After you found the bus, uh, Stefan is asking: Is it possible to change the sky, blue sky? Now, of course, we have other tools right, for doing other that. Tools we have sky that. replace. Sure, you can tell it to generate a new sky. Yep. Palm trees. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there we go. I like that one. That, yeah, okay, be, now zoom in. Let's see how realistic. it did on the sort of blending it in with the other trees there. Yeah. That one looks more realistic yeah. like it's really there. Look at that. And again, all I have to do is regenerate if I don't like it. So yes, and again, <laughs> you're not, awesome. so you're selecting an area, you're telling it what to replace it with, but you're not physically replacing it. It's not destructive. So if I turn off all these layers, I'm back to the original. If I turn on the school bus, if I turn on the palm tree, but don't turn on the building, I don't have the new building. I have the right. palm tree and the um, and the school bus. Right. By the way, Judith is saying two hours for this process sounds about right. Getting the angle right takes forever. Yep, shadows, angle, yeah. lighting, color Fix, tone. Right, fixing perspective, color matching, adding shadows, yeah. All of the above. CG Slav says, you will be so tired while finding the bus in the right I know. <laughs> <laughs> People don't realize. Yeah. Yeah. The putting it in part's yeah. not the hard right, part. Exactly. Finding one that's yeah. the right perspective yeah. and right look. That's that's what takes the that's longest. That's most of the pain right. involved. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I got some more examples here. Let's do. Let's do. Well, and I'll tell you what. I uh, I was gonna do a, a quick. Oh, you want to do one? Uh, yeah, real a quick, quick? Go a ahead. quick uncrop one. All right. So that I, you inspired me to try this out. Um, so this is again. This was from one of our. I know one of our and safaris. I can already tell where you're going with this because tightly cropped elephant. Wish yeah. you had more. Yeah, and uh, and I'm not even going to go over the whole thing. But I was so just and so we did this safari. Actually, Pete, Paul Trandy was with us as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> we are very fortunate, and we got the opportunity to borrow a bunch of lenses. So I believe this was shot with the 400 millimeter with the 800 extender right. handheld. handheld. In a completely open in moving a Jeep. Jeep. Right. So, and because I was on that huge lens, assuming things would be so far away. That's, yeah, because you can't get any further can't back. Can't get any further back. You can't zoom back right. on an 800 millimeter lens. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, first thing I wanted to try was to see, well, can I just get back just the top of the head and the ear? Right, and I think that's probably good. So, come in here. Let's get a little bit. Generative fill. 
and just generate. And this oh. this shot has bothered me for 10 years. Hey, Sen. Uh, can you get the beta still? Absolutely. The beta just became available this morning, so it is wide open for anyone to go get it. All right. Doing its thing. Again, nice little shallow depth of field there with the, the brush and the, the, the twigs behind it. So very curious what it's going to do. And the lighting. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Now, same thing here at the bottom. Like, all right, I'm not going to ask for much, but I really would love to have the legs and maybe the trunk. And just so you know, he's doing it in multiple steps. You could have done it all in one. Could have done it all in you one. You could have expanded the top, the back, and the bottom right. and selected all three and told it to generate, and it would generate all areas of the prompts at once or, or selections at right. once. This is almost like, can it really? I just want to see. Can you put the Beatles in? Um, no, because you can't use recognizable people that we know. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Hold on. There you go. Holy cow. And Holy he, elephant. And if he extended the back, it would give us the back of the elephant as well. Do we want to try the back of the elephant? Why wouldn't you? I mean, <laughs> Right. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Let's well, go for it. All right. I mean, if there. we're if we're if we're going for <laughs> right. look at this amazing shot that I got. Yeah. Let's go for it. Now you might ask. I mean, you know, I was very proud of the of the look of that old photo, but when in doubt, I mean, sometimes you need a whole elephant. Part of an elephant just won't do. just won't do. I blame that four hundred millimeter. You remember me holding that? Oh thing? yeah. No monopod. Yeah, yeah, no I nothing. Know. I know. I built up a lot of bicep strength wielding that thing over a couple days. And remember, you have three choices. Right. So you've just been using the first choice. Oh, yeah, I've just choice. been using the first one, right. Right. You got that one? Ooh, that one's actually pretty good. And you got that oh. one? Oh. I don't know which one. This one I kind of like because it's sort of obscured by the grass down yeah. here. So cool. So cool. I mean. Now, for the people in the chat, how long would it take you to fill in that elephant? Come on. You'd have to go find an elephant that looks just like it and then fill it, clone in the environment, oh, so forth and so on. This was before I did the other side, but look at yeah. the, this trunk is even better. Yeah. This was the one we went with, but holy, I mean, that's just crazy. I like how it's kind of leaning forward a little to sort of match yep. the trunk. I mean, that's, a, that's, a, that's unbelievable. All right, back to you, Terry. All right, so someone said, add a baby elephant. So make a rectangular marquee selection. Oh, let's add a baby elephant. Okay. And add a baby elephant follow. Now, do I need to be on a specific nope, layer when nope, I do this? It's just going to add it on top of everything you're on. All right. So let's just add maybe, and it can, it can overlap, right? Yeah, I would actually select the top layer because that way it won't put it underneath one of your existing right. layers. Okay, yep. All right. There you go. We can have a little baby elephant down here. Generative fill, baby elephant grazing. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now, and again, keep in mind, it's going to not only just hopefully put the baby elephant in, but it's going to match the scene. Right. And that's the key part. Right. And that's, God, that light. Remember that sun? Yep. There you go. <laughs> matching right. the look of the mother, matching the look of the scene, everything that's around. What is that? <laughs> that's, that's a very a weird, that's a very weird strange leg baby on elephant, that right? elephant right there, but it, oh, it just leg. extended out. Right. Uh, so you can generate again, you keep going. But again, this is <laughs> just, if you had to do it manually, you could, but the first task would be finding the right one to even start putting in. All right, that one, uh, color-wise, I, li I like that. It's okay. a little, little odd. But that's the closest so far. But again, yeah, like the shadow, the perspective, even the feet being buried slightly. I mean, look at that. Yeah. The detail. The details. Of the feet being in the uh, in the brush and that same light hitting the backside. There you go. We zoom into elephant butt. Crazy. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Brain cells missing already. That's I know, mind right? blown. All right. I got a couple examples of of working with people. So first off, let's go ahead and open up this one. And this was a fashion shoot I did way back, I don't know, like eight years ago, something like that. 
And again, one of those where we, we, we messed up collectively as the team doing this shoot, we forgot to put earrings on. She's got all the jewelry on, but we forgot to put the earrings on. We had them, just didn't put them on. Now, I could take, if I still had them, which I don't, could take them, photograph them separately, remove the background, try and bring them in, size them down, get the right color, get the right shadows, reflections, anything like that. But I don't even have them anymore because the person that brought all the accessories left with the accessories. So let's grab the rectangular marquee tool. And you, again, I could draw it with a lasso, but why? <laughs> I just don't have to. This is easier. So we're going to go to generative fill, and we're going to say um, fashion earring. Now, this won't be the exact accessory, obviously, because right. it doesn't know which one we didn't use. But it should give us one. It should give us some choices of ones that work. And this one, I think, interesting, too, because you have the shadows there. You've got some hair, you know, little... Yep. Lots of overlap. And there we go. So wow. I'm already okay with that one. <laughs> like that one. Look at how it matches. Oh my gosh. Look at how it matches the rest of the jewelry. Yeah. Right. This the, the, is the, the silver mind spherical ball there. It even looks like it indented her ear slightly. Yep. That one works. That look one at works look too. at how it matched the beads. Yeah, yeah. Beads, that's look, the word I was yeah. like. Sphere. That, look, it even put it big. through the ear. Like, <laughs> wow. That's incredible. That, that could, first one's actually know, pretty spectacular. But I could just keep hitting. If I, these are all great, but I could keep hitting generate yeah. until I got one that was even greater, if that's possible. Yeah. All right. So do we go for broke? Here, let's do this. Let's grab our lasso. This time I am going to do the lasso because I'm doing it at an angle. Let's come out a bit. In a bit. So Don's Will, uh, Wilson's asking, tuned in late, but is this available in the monthly photography plan? So again, yes. if, if you have if you have Photoshop, whatever plan you're on, you can go download the beta of Photoshop that has this in it. Yep. From your Creative Cloud app. All right, Jennifer Phil, what do I want? I could do a scarf. I could do a necklace. She already has a necklace on, so yep. let's do a scarf. Let's do a scarf. Fashion scarf. And someone before. Uh, I missed it. Was asking was asking about prompts. How specific do you need to be with the prompts? Now again, because we're not doing brands and things like that, you wouldn't say Fendi scarf or, no, or right. something like that. Yeah. Fashion scarf, you know. Fashion scarf. As descriptive as you want to be. And, and again, like these are thin. I could say thick fashion scarf. Uh huh. I could also, by the way, let me. Yeah, uh, that looks more like very tight yeah, bandana. I know. You know right. So choker. here, <laughs> what, so a lot of it has to do also with a the prompt and right. b your selection. Where you're selecting. So yeah. let me come out further, and and I'm going to change this and the prompt. I come in here and I'm going to do fashion scarf. I'll try that first, but I was going to do. Full, let me. Oh, go for broke. We'll see. I can always change it if I don't like it. Oh yeah, Mine. and Marcy's saying you could add silk or satin to match yeah, there material you go. Silk, and color. Fashion scarf, exactly. Yep. Beige, silk, fashion scarf. <laughs> Too fashion easy to be here. Very didn't, specific. Didn't think of fabric at yeah, all. Yeah, that's no, perfect. That yeah. I don't know what happened there. Oh, too weird. I'm not like the results are being hidden by something. All right, let me go back to this one, and just let me try silk fashion scarf. It is a beta. Sometimes there will be a bug. Yeah, and Max is saying you can just start from scratch. Maybe I just start adding things, build up a really large high resolution AI. Yeah, I mean that's that's again we talked about sort of reimagining reimagining. That word's getting overused, but it is compositing in general. Right. You could just keep building and iterating upon on top of this original image um, and dress dress it up however you like. Dress it up. Thick silk. Yeah. Flashing. Or I should say wide. Yeah. Wide silk. Yeah, you're scarf. definitely getting into the, I don't know what that, yeah. <laughs> it's a very thin scarf. It is. Not for outdoor weather. There we yeah. go. Right. There you go. There you go. thick. And that That's gave nice. me a thicker one. So just, again, either change up your prompt, change up your selection, or both to get the results you want. I like how it That's also is silk. matching the, the luminance of the dress. There you go. Look at that. That's actually very fashionable, Terry. And again, nice I keep job. changing either one. I can go back to the other layer and change earrings. I love it. 
That's the look I would go for. All right, I got another one. This time we're gonna do something different. We're making some more believers. I saw someone saying they didn't really love the result. Now I'm seeing, wow, just wow. So yeah. <laughs> All right. First thing, let's do this. Let's make a very irregular selection. Now, a lot of times you'll be tempted to just make a quick selection with like the object selection tool. Right. And the object selection tool does a great job of selecting the object. So if I just wanted to select her jacket or her, her blouse, I could use the object selection tool and it would do a good job, but I want more than that. I, want, I don't want just the clothes, I want also under her neck because I'm going to change all of this to um, medical doctor, um, what do you call it, Cl uniform. Now before you even generate, let's, let's set the stage of what we're doing here. This is, you're the photographer, mm -hmm. you're doing a photo shoot, you want to try different looks Yep. Clothing. We're going to be able to do this with a selection and generative fill. Right. Go. And we almost, you, almost, you almost need silence because this, the, the first time Terry showed this to me, uh, again, I'm not, I'm not speaking in hyperbole here. It, it just completely blew my mind. Okay, there's one. <laughs> there's two. I like two. <laughs> oh. Stethoscope. There's three. Yeah. A stethoscope because across. Medical doctor right. uniform. Right. That's what Which, by a the medical way, doctor would I gotta say, what, what lab coat? I couldn't have come back. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Medical doctor uniform is right. so generic. Right. It still got what you wanted. You have the stethoscope yeah. on there. You want the shirt? I love the shirt up. on that yeah. one. It you looks so one, good. This one looks like, you know, the real deal. This one looks like the real deal. Okay. Great. Now I want to replace the background. Now I could have replaced the background first. That would have made it easier to select the, um, the the person's clothes and change the uniform. But now that I've done it after the fact, oh no, I'm going to uh, make a merge layer. So Mac Command Option Shift E PC Control Option Shift E, and that just gave me a merge layer of everything. I didn't lose anything, just creating this merge layer because now I can use Select Subject of the whole look because it's all one layer. So Select Subject of the whole thing. I'm going to use the contextual taskbar. So I just click select subject, but I'm not ready to generate because we don't, right. it's she selected. I want the background selected. So right here on the contextual taskbar is an invert selection. So I can just click invert selection. Now everything is selected except her. Right. But remember I said in the last one? Key point. Don't cut into the edge. Right. So, I mean, you want to cut in, you don't want it on the edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and click expand right here on the contextual taskbar. I don't have to go to the select menu, I don't have to go here, I don't have to go there. All the options I want for what I'm doing are right there. So I'm gonna just to hit expand. I, I call this the magical 20 pixels because right. 20 pixels just seems to work on everything I try. So 20 pixels expanding the selection into her. Right. Now generative fill and we'll go ahead and do a prompt of, um, Starry, medical. Starry night. Oh, Are you gonna do a hospital? In. Yep. Medical. You gonna lab. do a generic medical building? Medical lab <laughs> in hospital. Medical place of business. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's gonna do a prompting show right after this. Oh, no, just yeah. where she works. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Words. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. Now I gotta say too, man, you you inspired me so much with this. You got one? Yeah, after, after this right. is done, we'll do that. All right, that's one. And it's even putting up a hand. That's interesting. I love that. Two, another hand. Oh, that's pretty great. <laughs> Number three. Uh, she's uh, holding what, a tube, a test tube? Yeah, with gloves yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Let's hit generate again. And again, perspective, right. Pers depth of depth field. Depth of field, right. The lighting. The lighting. Everything. Lighting from above on her hair. You right. can see it yep. actually looks like it's reflecting some of the light. And the, the collared shirt is just So now it's all my Photoshop there we go. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's the one. looking for. That's so the all one. my Photoshop pro, oh look I like that hand actually. All the that's a weird hand. That's <laughs> so a weird that, hand. that would be a bad result, yeah. poor result, report that result, yeah. delete that result. My that's hand just got a, in there that hand's way too long. Um generate again. But um what oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. I forgot what I was gonna say. Never mind. It wasn't important. All right. If we can switch over to me just for a sec, I just want to point out again, getting a little more specific with some of the, the prompts here. Uh, 
So just in terms of, I, I'm not going to rerun it. I already did it, but also I just pulled up the Photoshop file that had some of these. So this is a picture of me, I got the perfect one, circa 1986. Yep. And uh, I liked my 80s clothes. Again, note the collar, but I wanted to see what it would do for you know additional 80s men's suit with shoulder pads. <laughs> so um, kind of brought some of these looks nice. in there. Nice. You know. I like the John Travolta look. Yeah. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> This was the slightly tweedish looking one that I think you have with some of your others. Uh -huh. And then I borrowed some of yours, Terry. You 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 made me get into space. So this is a futuristic space suit, brightly colored with wearable tech on front. <laughs> but see, but okay. So again, great look. But here's the thing I was talking about. Notice your neck showing in all of them. Yes. So if you would have selected up right, to your right. chin, then the outfit would cover all right. of that as well. Yep. I like this one. This looks very, very spacey. Okay. All right. Back to you. Back to me. Yeah. So here's the result that I ended up with that I like. That was from that one that was processing when Jason left. So that would be the one I'd use. And can we show the original again? Just sure. to show where we started? Let's go back to the original. That's what we started with. Yeah. Someone outside, casual, beautiful day outside. Nothing about this feels right. like medical doctor. By, by, like you wouldn't know that it was Corporate, the same right. shot. Corporate. Doctor, what in in practice? And this is the thing: you could take that shot and go, "Oh no, we can use this for a medical ad. We could use this for a a, a school teacher ad. We could use this for an outdoor right. brand." Just by changing all the elements and keeping the subject, the beautiful subject, front and uh, first, um, easy for me to say, in the foreground. Now, unbelievable. As aside from this being crooked, let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, this is this is a classic shot I've had one for of your, years. One of your classic faves. I uh, shot this at Horseshoe Bend on just the crappiest <laughs> sky day. Yes. Like someone it asked It never earlier, looks like this, by the way, living uh, fairly. Oh, I, I know. Yeah. Uh, like, you, the, you like, got I the got worst the day. bad day. Yeah, you got the and bad I got, day. I, I, true story. I got back to my hotel. I went solo on this trip. I just wanted to get away and do some photography. I got back to my hotel. I put my memory card in the computer and started looking through the images, and I was crying tears. Not of joy. <laughs> tears of joy. disappointment. Yeah. Like. I can't believe I flew all the way out of here. I you can't believe it. I hiked all the way to this thing and I blew it. And what I ended up doing to to save the day for this shot, this is what I ended up doing. There we go. Looks great now. No bad sky. <laughs> because I could, no matter what I tried back then with right. Photoshop, I right. couldn't get a sky that looked good. Nope. I tried everything. I just never was happy. Like the sky never looked real. So let's undo that. Let's go to our rectangular marquee tool. Let's select that bad, god awful, nothing sky. Generative fill. All right, Mr. Arizona, describe <laughs> a, a sky. Uh, How about uh, golden hour? Oh, I knew you were going to do golden hour, which will be interesting because the image is not quite golden hour. Desert, it's one, one S, right? Desert mm -hmm. sky. All right, let's see what that looks like. Now, I know you've shown this in previous times using the sky replacement. Oh, yeah. Right, which got better. Got better. But I was still never happy. Right. And then I used Firefly the last time I did this. Firefly generated the sky. Right. And I brought that one in. Right. And I get, yeah, it's not golden hour. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's change the prompt to afternoon. But look at but look at the difference. Even if I was even if I was accepting that, it looks better than the nothing sky. Right. Afternoon, desert sky. So all I'm doing is changing the existing prompt right. and regenerating based on the change I made. Oh, I remember I remember you lamenting about this. <laughs> Dude, I was in tears in my room, just crying, sobbing to myself. Oh, that's interesting. That's, oh, that's, that's the, the one. one. That's, that's the one. one. That's an Arizona sky. That's because I got out there right at sunset, and that's what it looked like. Mm -hmm. And again, you could even have put the sun in the corner. You know, uh, afternoon desert sky with sun on the left. Yeah. Well, let's try it. With sunset. I love how you can just kind of continuously add to the field up there, yep. too. The, I like to call this stuff out in terms of UI UX, where we get it, we just get it right. You're not you're not having to move around. It's it's in front yeah. of you where you're making those selections. 
choosing the fills that it's generated. Um, it's really good. It just it just feels very fluid and just kind of works. <laughs> it doesn't know left from right, but it's got it. Those are cool. Yeah, those are neat. That's but a little bird. This is the one. That yeah, I that's would the use. one. That's the one. All right, someone says, well, it's not nothing sky, it's overcast. Okay, it was still disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> I was just not happy with it. Yeah. I could never get it to look the way I wanted it to. Yeah. Now, I could be very specific. One, one more time, let's try this. Um, evening sky over horseshoe bend. Because it, it does know geographic locations, right. famous locations. Yeah, because chances are we have many, 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 many pictures of Horseshoe Bend, Horseshoe Bend, right. uh, as the um, the ML references, and that's a key point too. You can use you can use public, geographical geographic public, public uh, references. References, yeah. Nice, beautiful blue skies. Look at that one. It's kind of weird and funky. That's very funky. And just keep refining your prompt. Keep regenerating. That's pretty cool too. Now again, even if you went with something like this, you could imagine where you just use a little a, a, a gradient or some kind of adjustment layer just to tone down some of the blue to match kind of the the hue of the water there. Yep. You know, just to give it a or a slightly more reflective kind of look that's more um, harmonized. I guess you could technically use the harmonized neural filter there too. Sure, because it's a layer. Yeah. So you could do whatever to you want to harmonize the two adjust. layers together. Yeah. That's another great idea. If I do say so myself. <laughs> that is a great idea, and I do say so. <laughs> Someone would say, you know, okay, now I, I, I have my next several hours of fun. Yeah, I mean, we both. Again, boat, shadow, water, so perspective, cool. perspective, angle. Looking like, from above. Looking from above, it knows that. Skewed, yeah. Skewed. Oh, that one's pretty cool, too. Oh, that's pretty cool, too. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool too. I mean, that's that's what you wind that's up what, doing. You just, I end up just stuttering. Yeah. I, 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 I just can't believe what it did. Yeah. Now, all someone right. was asking, Terry, this is, a, this is a personal question. I mean, it's doing all of this, it's doing shadows, it's doing perspective. How much does this sort of invalidate knowing how to do this old school manually? Does it invalidate? I know how to walk to work, but I prefer driving my car. Mm -hmm. It yeah. doesn't invalidate walking. Right. So if you can't, so one of the things that will happen is you may you may need a very specific thing that it can't generate. Right. You may need to, like I said, like we're talking about, well, the sky is good, but I would adjust it a little bit more. Right. Those are things that you could spend time on the prompt or you could spend time with your knowledge of Photoshop right. to make the result more personalized for you. Right. Yeah, we can get to that sky in 20 seconds. Right. Now we but spend. But now I'm like, I just want to tweak. I want to use the adjustment presets. Right. I want to use um, right. adjustment layers. I want to tweak it and get it to match the tone. I want to use a neural filter right. to kind of match more of that particular uh, set. So that now turning off Firefly, turning on my knowledge of Photoshop yeah. to go do those things. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's super important, actually. That was a great question. Thank you, whoever asked yep. that. Uh, because I think that is kind of a feeling with some of this. It's like, ah, oh, <laughs> that replaced. Right. I think it's one of those things too. We've seen it a couple times where maybe it, it does a nice shadow, but it's not, it's not quite right. Right. Maybe you need to blur, you know, brush out well, or yeah, blur and again, it. Yeah, I can keep regenerating right. until sure. maybe I get it right. Right. Or, or I could just dip oh, into go your own toolbox. Fix it myself. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Uh, I got a couple more examples here before I get to a, a really interesting one. Um, so many choices, so little time. All right, let's let's do this one. This okay. Here here's a here's a Photoshop taking my time versus Firefly <laughs> example. And I've used this example. I, t I tell jokes about this example all the time. So here it is. I open it up. This, I shot this at a at a party, and the guy standing in the background does not have a giant afro. That's a tree that happened to be perfectly positioned behind his head. And we all laughed. Like, I got home and I was cracking up at this shot. I posted this on Facebook. And we were all just cracking up that he just happened to be standing right in front of this tree to make it look like he has a huge afro. Now, I would then just close it and move on with the rest of my demo. 
Because what it would take to Photoshop that tree out is having to make up what the corner looks like. Right, exactly, exactly. It wasn't worth the time. And you can <laughs> see as you zoom in, it's green. Right. It's just, had the just lighting having been different. to make the yeah. corner yeah. and that thing coming down from the ceiling to look right if I get rid of the tree wasn't worth my right. time. Right, enormous amount. No, of work. I just went on. We just used right. this as a joke, and we went on to the other shot. That became the best shot right. of, the, of, the, of, the, of the function. Fun. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but here, let's let's grab our lasso, and let's go in. Now his hair is actually really short. Let's just go into his hair. Again, doing this with the with the touchpad, still with doing touch a nice. Pad, right. Uh, yeah. Um, still, still pretty good angle though. I'm there. using multiple fingers switching yeah, on yeah, the touchpad. Yeah. <laughs> Holding my hand down. I'm, uh, I'm going quite, all around. I'm quite hopeless on the touchpad, so no judgment. Yeah, for I, me. I switched bags and forgot to bring the mouse. Yeah. Or the tablet. Yeah. All right, so let's, okay, so now I made the selection of what I want, and I'm just going to hit generate to fill and generate. And again, I, I tried this once. Right. What's so it going to do? I don't know what it's going to do this time. Where's that moment of nervousness? Yep. <laughs> well, worst case scenario, it either works or it doesn't. It works or it doesn't, but you know. Got a lot of people watching here, Terry, so. What? Now. Now this is a result this you might have result, gotten yeah. looking at like content aware. Right, or but sampling. look at this. Right. This is the part that was hard. Right. I can go fix that, that's right. easy, that's right. easy. Exactly. This is the part where I would have, <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. No. I'm not trying to figure out what that corner That corner like. angle. All right, yeah. that's the problem. Now I can keep generating, Right. and maybe I'll get better results on the side here, but right now, I'd be happy with this. Because yep. the other stuff's easy. That's right. And case in point, right? Go to the toolbox. I, now I go to the room tool. Right. Go to whatever. Right. The and, hardest and fix part. The, edges. the hardest part was done. Right. That's bad. Right. That's bad. That's bad. So hey, kind of nailed was, it in that first. That first yeah, one. Bad result. So poor result. Delete. Because it, it just stored at the background. Poor result. Delete. So let's say I went with. That one's okay, because this one actually wouldn't take much to fix yep, that. Yeah, to fix that. All right, abrupt. so I'd probably go with that one. Mm -hmm. So again, I'll make a new layer, so I don't. I keep my generative fill layer. Okay, I got a new layer now, and then I would just go into maybe the remove tool, maybe the patch tool. Let's try the new remove tool. Smaller brush. And I just want to remove this stuff from the side of his head. A little bit more. Done. <laughs> Zoom out. Yeah. So come on. Look no at stopping the ceiling. you from using both. Yeah. But that ceiling, I never did it because I no. never wanted to take the time to try and make that look right. Generator fill to the rescue. Insane. Yep. Okay. Insane. Yeah, Marcy was saying the remove tool might work for this one too. Oh, so good question. So do you think you could have used the remove tool? No. You tried it. Yeah. No, yeah, I just yeah, know it yeah, wouldn't. Yeah, like yeah, right. that that because again It's looking at pixels. It wouldn't know right. how to make that corner. Right. That's I really can try right. I can show you what the remove tool would give you. Yeah. I can show you. Yeah, we could do it quick. But I know that would not have worked. But who knows? I could be shocked. Yeah. Well yeah. That's right. All right, let's let's, see. let's try with the remove tool. You are seeing it live. And I don't expect this to be as good right. as what we had with the um, using with generative, the fill, generative yeah. fill. Yeah. Oh, it did better than it, I expected. It actually, it did okay. But you could see that the yeah. But this it's still would very need uneven. Some work. It's a lot right. of work, and it's fixing that is more work than you're ready to then, put the yeah. time in for. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I never did yeah. it. Yeah. So generative fill better in this case. Um, all right. Let, let before I want to get to this example before I. Run out of time. <laughs> S is saying, I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if that guy was never there to begin with. He's AI generated. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, now this. This is the one. Yeah. As I'm playing with generative fill all these past few weeks, I wanted to really challenge it. I wanted to, okay, like, because you, you keep getting yourself, oh my God, that's so good. Oh my God, that's so good. But could it do this? Like, you keep asking yourself now, could it do this? Could it get rid of this? So. I wanted to see, I don't have a reason for doing this, but right. I wanted to see how hard would it be to remove the guy in the middle? 
So ask your question of the of the of the chat. How long would it take you to remove the guy in the middle? Yeah. So keep in mind, you got to rebuild the steps. Right. Go and ahead. you got to rebuild the guy on the right. Exactly. So, and if I were to say, looking at this, it never. really it couldn't be done. No, it couldn't <laughs> it be done. Be, it can be done. But it, it's it's like, never going to look right. Give There's me a too time much... estimate right. of how long it would take you to do it. You'd have to really, I mean, you'd have to paint. Look, there's so much of the other guy's body there. Right. To the naked eye, it might look okay. Zoomed in, it would never look perfect. Okay, so now, that's my, true that's story. My I'll, I'll show you the selection. Maybe. I'll go to my, um, my load selection under select. I save the selection just so I don't have to redraw it. There it is. That's the selection I made. So I went around him, all the way over here, past the laptop, underneath him, around this guy, around with, this guy. With your stylus, I imagine. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> with, under this guy's arm, under this guy's leg. So that's the selection. The first time I did this, it took five generations. Generate, generate, three results each time, generate, to get to the right one. I have the right one in the layer. I have it turned off, but I'm going to generate it for you just in case. I, I have the other one just in case it doesn't work. So generate. One year after I learned digital painting. Yeah. <laughs> Again, still valuable. Now, the warning is it's going to think to put another person there or other things there. Like, okay, this time put a backpack there. It put um, a, sh a shoulder there or something. It removed him. Third try, third, third look. And, and again, this kind of looks funky, so I regenerated again. But third try already got so close. Let's try it again. And last time, like I said, the first time I did it, it took five times to even get this yeah. close. Backpack. <laughs> a person. <laughs> Someone new. Someone new. Bottle. Backpack and bottle. Now that's actually, that's pretty so, creative. But yeah, what is this, a leg? <laughs> what is that it's random? A leg backpack? What random is that? Yeah. something there. So this is generation number three. But look at the steps. It's already done a great job on removing him and getting rid of the steps. I mean, putting the steps back in. <laughs> random kid. There it is. Wow. Let's take a moment, Terry. There it is. Zoom in to the center, please, if, you, three, if you'd be three so Three times this time. Let's zoom into that center area because you talked about the steps, which by the way, look, steps in that little area between the, the, yep. the check shirt and the white pants. Same perspective, steps going along the back. Regenerated derriere and back. Yep. And shirt with flex. Yep. It had to make up his left, his his the whole his right side. His of whole his right body. side of his body. This didn't exist in the original. Here's the original. <laughs> right. Here's this. Right. I don't know what this white stripe <laughs> is, but easy, little, easy, easy enough easy, to remove. Again, easy right. fix. Easy, easy fix. fix. Holy cow! Come on. Now here's the one on the fifth try that worked. That's the one that I, five wow. times of hitting regenerate. So a total of and two look, minutes. And look at the shirt at the bottom of, just at, yeah. the, at the base of I his know. butt right there. Right look here, at that, yeah. how it's. <laughs> so original. That's crazy. Take him out manually. Tell me how long it's going to do. How long it's gonna take you to do it. Shadow, yep, got the shadow. Yep. Again, I think one of the most amazing things too is because those those steps are almost over bright. Actually, his shirt is right. The highlights yeah. are kind of blown out. How it that lighting flows so perfectly with that added shirt and pants with a shadow. You, you'd never suspect otherwise that someone was I know was living in there, living sitting. I, I know it, it's it's just unbelievable. Okay, another extend example. Tightly cropped, missing the shoulders, <laughs> crop tool, hold, tip, hold down your option key or alt key to crop both sides at the same both time. Sides, yep. Marquee, C 
cut in a little bit into the image. Shift, which I don't have to hold down the shift because I got it set to always right. add. But shift add for nobody who right. doesn't have shift that preference add. turn on. Generate. Generate. Oh wait, no, no, no. Hold on. I don't have it. I don't have it. Hold on. Oh, did you only I don't have the one have side? The option selected. Okay, oh, now we'll add. Glad we called that out. Because it looked like is that other yeah. side still selected? There we go. I'll admit I couldn't see the dancing. No, so I, was, so I was playing there along, playing along for the cameras. And this is like, well, maybe I just want a slightly a, a wider shot. It, it was tight crop. Let's 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 redo this after the fact. Yes. Right? Corporate photo, change it. What? Come on. Let's see that middle one again. When you like better. Yeah. Actually, this one looks great too. Yeah, first. One. I like the, the little indent on the shoulder yep. there. Okay. So someone said, oh, the middle guy's reflection was in the glasses. Sunglasses. Select the sunglasses. Right. As a, add that to Again, the selection. Right, right. So it generates that out as well. I just didn't see it. So that's an extend example. Here's an extend and add example. This is one I was telling you about earlier this morning, Jason. So crop tool. We need more table. Need another, we need a table for two. Generator fill, generate. I mean, you could just do this all day. I do. I know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you really just start I doing do. this on all kinds of things. I do. Ma putting stuff in, taking stuff out. That extending. library didn't get built by, by That's itself. Right. No, it, it got did built not. from examples. That's right. All right. Oh, just decided to add something That's on the cool. table. I'm not really happy with those tables. Yeah. Hang on. Do a better job of blending. Do a better those, job of blending the table. Blending so the table I'm together. not happy. Keep going. It could be, you know, distressed wood with stain, right. though. Yeah. Maybe that's an additional thing you add in the prompt there. Better. Nice. Yep. Better. No. no. <laughs> so that's just a that's bad a, result. Yeah, that's a really weird result. Yeah, poor result. Delete. All right. But anyway, let's say we go with this one or this one. Let's say this one. That one's kind of more to mm -hmm. the point. Now, look at the angle that the coffee was shot at. So it's from above, but not directly above. Right. It's still at an angle, so it's right. more like this right. going down. If I were to make a selection, my selection is rectangular. I'm not using right. no polygonal lasso. Right. Exactly. I'm not doing perspective right. selection. Right. And I'm going to go to generator fill. I'm going to say plate of um, eggs. Maybe eggs and bacon. And bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we a little plate of egg and bacon. It'll be a little. <laughs> <laughs> We're cutting back. <laughs> uh, okay, it's one. Nice. Those are very. Very over I don't easy see eggs. Bacon though. Yeah, where'd uh, the bacon go? Let's that's do... just that's just an egg, right? Oh, I did plate plate eggs. Oh, so plate plate of yes. Scrambled. Someone was asking uh, about prompt classes. Scrambled um, eggs and bacon strips. You know, a decent a decent command of language is all you really need to to prompt. Well, to be no, honest, well, no, there's an art to it. There's, there's an art, uh, yeah. But also, just speaking clear, but simplicity actually yeah. will get you there. And by the way, that egg's not even on a plate. No, it's not. It's just on the table, <laughs> just as, as you often yeah. see. There we go. So plate of scram. So again, just changing the prompt to yeah. plate of nice. scrambled yep. eggs and right. bacon strips. Basic command of right. the language there. Uh, ooh, that looks really good. Also, the shadow, the perspective shadow of the plate. Shadow under the plate, perspective of the plate, angle, yep. and the prompt. Yeah. A little plate of eggs. A little plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. So good. What are we doing on time? All right. We've got, two uh, we got two and a half minutes left. I was going to show you just one more thing oh, and then we can it. close yep. on one of your images. So again, going sure. back to the 80s for a second here, just to kind of talk to. So the picture that I took of my mom a very long time ago, you can tell what era this is. 
And uh, so like Terry showed with the woman putting her kind of in a, in a medical environment, I always wanted my mom to be, she was a, a, an instructor, to be sort of in a gym environment. So I generated this background, 80s, uh, you can actually see the prompt here. A fitness center in the 1980s with visible weights and treadmills in the background. Very detailed prompt. Detailed prompt, right? But nothing rocket science, like he described what he wanted. Nothing rocket science. But here's the thing, when it masked her, the phone cord cut out because it was sort of invisible behind mm -hmm. her. So using your same technique, now I'm, I'm very shaky with the, uh, with the lasso here, but I'm going to make a little skinny lasso selection. Generative fill. Let me move this so you can see where I'm typing here. And let's do, uh, whoops. Curly uh, 80s phone cord. Actually, just curly phone cord. I don't think I need even 80s in there. Curly phone cord. Probably could have gotten to the end of the, to the corner there, but that's okay. Let's see what it does. Now again, that's probably something that wouldn't be too hard to clone in, but it's covering the jacket, her arm might be, it actually would be kind of a pain to try and recreate that exact same look. Come on. There you go. And anyone who had one of those cords in the 80s knows that yep, they would get I know that cord. completely tangled up. I mean, yep. this is, this is so true to form. Also with the shallow depth of field as it goes out of the shot. All right, so uh, quickly on my screen. Thanks everybody, we just wanted to uh, like encourage you to go to Generative Fill and try different examples. <laughs> like I said, I wasn't joking when I say I'm in this all day, just trying different stuff to see what happens. These are some of my favorites, the yeah, corduroy. Know, right? The corduroy and the headphones. Problem is I want some of these clothes Yes, now. <laughs> it's gonna be very expensive. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks Cheers, everyone, have a great rest of your day. we will catch you on the next one. Bye everybody. Bye.